Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This is one of the most spectacular new venues, certainly in terms of design, it is the Allianz Park. anthem of Argentina rings out. Argentina have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide. And it can just throw the opposition off field. Well, we're on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Who else but Lionel Messi? I don't need to tell anyone what he's capable of. Some critics don't rate him as the best player on the planet. And that's... Is it in? Oh. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Now it's Messi. And he's away. Messi! He's delivered all right! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal, too, is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and long may that continue. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Argentina has a pop! Sticks it away! And with the match still in its infancy, they are easing away. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Argentina have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Wolf loose, who's getting there? Ali, how about a shot? Can he score? He's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. Argentina really could have done without this. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And he's missed altogether. Not the best spot kick I've ever seen, but they've got to keep their heads up and chase this game. And it's hoisted clear. The defence can get it clear. 
Real chance to break. Lovely bit of... And Messi! Yes! All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. That really was a thing of beauty. Curled in effortlessly. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well positioned to make that interception. Dybala. And it's Messi. Cuts it out. Keeper's got good distance on that. Otamendi. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the op Has a hit! Danger averted for now. Goes for it! Racing over the bar. Now it's Ali. Played out to the right. Back into the middle. Good ball. Shakes the shoots. And in it goes. It could be a lifeline. Two more needed. That's no fluke. It's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Let's wrestle off the ball. Here it comes. And the counter is on. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Aguero knocks it away. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Well, I would think this one is possibly over as a contest. They know they've already reached cruise control, and it's a case of the right game management to take it from here. Argentina are broadly in charge, but the contest is still alive at three goals to one. So we're just settling back into this second half. Plays it out to the wing. Get a throw in. Otamendi. Balls out on the left, now. Lovely feet. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. He's dealt with that well. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Done very well to intervene. Dybala. Well, they could break here. Qatar have made their intentions clear by the Aguero! Oh! Just a fraction high. <laughs> He's made sure that that won't get through. Wide now. Dashing forward at pace. Dybala takes control of it and he's on the move. He'll hit it. Paolo Dybala. So the ball's got out of play and a change is upcoming.
been judged offside. Martinez only needed to check his run slightly and he was in the clear. Looking for space out wide. Going through. Now it's Ali. He's had a good look and given a corner. And he just whacks it away. And the shot! And patience has taken charge. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. And he's going long. Oh, and he's got good distance, who's chasing? Forward it goes. He's played him through. And Messi! Goal! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. So now the difference is three. Room for a shot. Aguero tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Now it's Aguero. Now the counter. And that's it. Argentina, winners of a no contest, they just swapped their opponents in superior quality. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.